You knew I wanted Tammy, and you couldn't handle that. You knew I'd pick her. That's not true, Joey. Who have you been hanging out with the past couple weeks? Me, not Tammy. Did you say, oh, back off because I'm dating someone else? No! Lizzie, I told you I got back together with Tammy. I told you that night. It didn't matter, though. You had champagne, and then you didn't even want to leave. You didn't even try to leave. You just started kissing me, and so I thought you wanted me. Lizzie, thanks to you, I don't know what I was thinking that night. But I bet I felt sorry for you. I probably stuck around because I thought you were pathetic. Don't you ever talk to me that way! Eighty-seven Bordeaux. Come on, don't, you know what? Don't even use this drug thing against me. Joey's gone. No one's gonna believe a thing you say. Super wasp strikes again. You know what? You better get out of here before they kick you out. Don't, don't threaten me. Don't touch me. What are you doing here, anyway? Who goes to the country club right after their old man gets off? Oh. I'm sure if your dad were here, he'd want you to be strong. But I also know that he would also want you to fess up to what you did. What I did? Do you remember that night that I came in through your window to visit you? I found something in your room. I found a sliver of glass with some blood on it. Glass? Yeah. Lizzie, that's what we need you to talk about. All of it. Look, it's going to clear your conscience and it's going to make you better off for it. We need you to talk about everything that you did. Elizabeth, come in. I'm just finishing a business meeting. Granddad, you were right. I found them together, Jonathan and Tammy. I'm so sorry, sweetie. <laughs> You make me want to be a better man. I do. You do. And for those few days that I thought when I were going to have a baby, I just realized that I want to be the kind of guy that a kid can count on, okay? Really? Really. Now, can we go back to my place and no more talk about Jonathan, Alan? No more talk. If anything happens to Jonathan or Sarah, I will never forgive you. That's the truth. So you have to believe. You have to believe in it. You gotta believe in us. Okay? Because we can take the worst experience in your life and we can turn it into something beautiful. Well, it's tough because we're going to talk. This isn't just going to go away. No, Lizzie. you need to go away because you make me sick. Your mom. Yeah, my mom. My mom. She is my mom, Coop. Do you think that either of us planned for this? I happen? don't know. I don't know. And I don't care. Okay, I'm getting on a plane in two hours, and I, I don't know. Maybe I won't come back. How about you text me if my mom notices? Now look, this is not what we're you trying to do. You get your hands Whoa. off of me. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. No, okay, see, I'm that's the thing. You're not sorry, Coop. You're not sorry at all. Oh, when did you turn into such a sleaze bag who bangs people's moms? Maybe you're right. Maybe talking was a bad idea. Yeah, you know something? Maybe we finally agree on something. Oh. Mm. Feel good? That felt better. What, are you gonna kidnap me? No, but I need to tell you things. You told 
your brother that I was going to the police. You heard me and you protected him. I've been protecting him for a long time. How long? That's not important. What you need to understand is I had no choice. He's my brother. Just like Alan's your grandfather and Beth's your mother. Did you know he was my kidnapper? He's my brother. Lizzie, I can help you find Bill. Why on earth would I possibly trust you? Because helping you may be the only chance I have to save my brother. Oh, 